Hey everyone, Alistair here from Trail and Kale, back once again for another review and today I'm going to be looking at the DNA kit from 23andMe. So this one is the health and ancestry kit. So this is the full package, I believe it's going for $200 this one. So essentially this is a saliva kit so it should be really easy to do but I'm going to run through it today with you guys on this video. So. We're going to find out together how easy is it to do the Health and Ancestry DNA Kit from 23andMe. Let's get started, shall we? So, opening the box, inside you have a set of instructions down here, probably can't see there on the video, but it's a six step process. Uh, and you've also got this here, which is the saliva tube, what a lovely word that is. Uh, you've also got a bag to put it back in um, and then you stick it back in this box. I believe, unpeel this sticker here seal it up and then send it back to 23andMe and then they do all the, the testing scientific stuff and uh, send you back your results. Okay, the first step is it actually says no food or drink for 30 minutes. So I've had 30 minutes off before starting this video. I haven't drank anything or had any food. So that's all good. And then the next step is to spit to the fill line of this tube. Okay, so it looks like the fill line is not actually from the bottom, thank goodness, because that would be a hell of a lot of spit. It's from this point here up to here. So that's still quite a lot. All right, let's give it a go. Definitely a knack to this. Yeah, I'll probably uh, pause this video and get back to you. This might take a while. Okay, so I got there eventually. That literally took about two minutes. Uh, I guess I'm not very good at um, producing saliva on demand. But there we go, filled it up to the fill line here. So the next step is close the funnel. Okay. So what that's done is it looks like it's mixed whatever liquid was up here with my saliva. So, because that's just filled up a whole load more. So, whatever was in the lid, after snapping that down, it's punctured the lid and mixed some of that fluid with my saliva. Okay, the next step then is pretty simple. Detach the funnel and screw on the cap. Right, so Attaching that funnel, there you go, just unscrewed it, and inside the packet there is a little lid, like so, with a, a blue top. So then just screw that on top, all the way nice and tight, it's pretty easy. And then seal in the bag that comes with the pack, pretty easy, tear this off, sealed, biohazard. Well, that's not very nice, is it? This slide is not biohazard, is it? Maybe it is. We'll find out when the results come back. Okay, so then the final step, step six, it says mail in the kit. I guess I just pop that in there. Um, peel the sticker back that says peel here. I hope I'm doing this right. I think I am. Can't be that hard, can it? Six steps, can't get those wrong. And there you go, there's already a packing label on there. Well, that's it, that's me running through the 23andMe. <clears throat> Sorry, all my saliva's gone. <clears throat> so, that's me running through the process of how you do the 23andMe health and ancestry kit. Uh, really simple. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.